Thank you to be back uh, on the last listen about HQ client and HQ server. For this last part, we'll, we'll be focused on the share network folder and uh, we will see how Linux uh, will be able to, uh, to read and write in a folder shared by a Windows server. So as a first part, we have to install some tools in the Linux. So on the terminal, I will use a sudo apt install and I will install a Samba client Samba common the CIF utils and I will use a Y option Now we have the different tools and I, have one, I want to check if everything is okay. So I will use the SMB client in a terminal. And I try to reach uh, the server and I want to list what is shared on the server. So um, I will use uh, the hell to, to say list. And I try to reach this uh, computer. The Windows is on uh, 192, 168, And as a very good first sign, you will see that it tried to reach the work group and he want my password from the Windows session. And this is pretty cool. If I wrote my password, Yes. So now you will see uh, we have an access to the health. Now we have to mount. We have a pass uh, like this to have an access to the windows. But I want that the Linux sees a pass as an internal folder. So for that, you will have to mount as an internal disk, and I will use uh, the same later, the HES one. I will show you how to mount uh, a, a network folder in Linux. So as a first part, uh, I will create uh, in the MNT folder uh, a fake uh, link uh, a fake uh, hard drive, the S1. So I will use my sudo uh, privilege mk mk dir for making a directory and uh, we will make the S directory. So. And that's work. Now we will mount the folder who are in, um, in the network as a S hard drive, a S mount folder. Which again, so I will use the mount option. I will just precise the type. So T, it is a CIF S. It's typical from a uh, Windows shared folder on network. I will use an option, I will just specify my username and now I will explain what I want to mount and where I want to mount it. So I want to mount this folder uh, on the network, so don't forget we use a S later for, for, the, uh, for the drive and I will mount this on the MNT has. So if everything is okay, I will have this question that means you want to use my password on Windows to connect me on the network folder. And if, if everything is okay, I will now click on has and I will be able to be on my network folder. I will test to write 
something and as you see unfortunately I have no power for that that's normal I will check something else in the same way I will just restart my computer now I will try to uh, to take an access to the MNT folder and oh sadness as you see the mount is temporary as the HQ client services, we will have to add some command line to create a permanent mount. That will be our next step. So, to create a permanent mount, uh, we need to edit the fstab file. The fstab file <coughs> uh, contains some information to mount automatically a folder on hard drive or uh, CD-ROM. That already exists, CD-ROM? Still? Oh god. And uh, I will show you how to do this. I have to use my privilege. Uh, I will use Vim, my favorite text editing. And uh, the file is inside the etc folder, fstad. I will increase uh, the size of the my window, like that. And so, um, you have colon, file system, mount point, type, option, dump and pass. Uh, the file system that will be my shared folder on the network, the mount point, uh, point will be my S uh, in the MNT folder. The type will be the type of uh, shared folder. In my case, that will be a CIFS, a Windows on, uh, on, uh, on network. Uh, option will be my username, uh, permission, and a lot of things like that. And for the two last colon, dump and pass dump is a, is a kind of a specific archive uh, function. And for the pass, it is a check of uh, of the of the network or check of uh, the hard drive. So we will not use these two last colon to add the the mount point. I will. Click on high to uh, to be in the insert mode. I will reach the last line, and I will add uh, the file system. The file system will be my shared net folder. The so S one. I will use the tab to to go on the other colon. So now we're talking about the mount point that will be. So MNT S. Each again, I will use a tab, and I will write the tab, the type, so that will be a CIFS. And now we're talking about the option. So the first one will be the username, my password. Yes, the password is clearly readable so that's pretty important to uh, uh, to protect your Linux correctly I will add two other options the no perm to give me the possibility to write and read on the network folder and uh, a tool to interpret some uh, some elements so the net dev for the two last colon I will use zero and zero because I don't want any archive and any check so now I will just click on escape colon W to write the file and colon Q to kit and I will restart my computer So I will take a look on the MNTS to be sure that everything will work correctly. MNT, I'll just drag this to create a shortcut and yeah, that's work. So now uh, the S is a permanent mount and to be sure I want to add a file to be sure I have the privilege to read and yes, that's work too. I can create file and delete them so that's perfect for the wonder wonder uh, will be now 
able to render her first complete task on the HQ server. We are back on the Houdini. I don't have changed anything uh, on the on the HQ render on Houdini because everything is correctly configured. Uh, the job name, the driver, the HQ server, the target HFS. But we need to update uh, in the HQ web page the network folder because now um, I will change the local host for the real address IP of my computer. That's pretty important because like that, every windows on the network will be able to reach the correct path, the correct uh, shared folder. Uh, on the windows, we are okay for the, for the map. And the Linux, if you remember, we just specify the new letter that will be the has. So now uh, I'm sure that the Linux will be able to reach the correct path. After I've saved the new network folder, uh, I will load the render and I will try to see if everything is okay. Uh, the windows uh, will take uh, care about gen generate the high FD. As you see, uh, it is the correct path for the Houdini and correct path for the project. And this IP address confirms that every Windows on the network will be able to launch the render for this task. And I'm waiting for the Linux to see if everything is okay. So uh, you can see there's a strange issues because it takes a look uh, on the, uh, the IP address of the Windows. And that's strange because it tried to load the IFD directly from the correct path. This happens sometimes. To solve this issue, uh, there is a simple solution. So we just cancel the render and delete it. Sometimes you have to activate in Mantra this option, distribute IFD generation. So I will try to submit the job again. As you see, the windows take care again uh, the IFD, and the first frame will be rendered by a Linux machine. And okay, that seems correct. So now the IFD is on the correct place, MNT S, and as you see, the render is launched. This is a success. Uh, it is uh, a correctly configured HQ server. There is now uh, a Windows and a Linux client with the HQ client and everything is working on the same folder. That's all for the configuration with HQ and Houdini. Now you will be able to wander with Mantra. You will be able to use a distribute sims for, uh, for, for Flip, a cluster for Paro and even the PDG. Uh, on the next session, uh, on the next session, uh, I will explain the different uh, way to distribute the simulation through the Wonder Farm, uh, and maybe an optional uh, video about Mac and Apple. Thank you for your patience, and I hope that will be useful for you.